So you decide you want an Android phone, or Android tablet, or Android whatever. And pretty soon you realize there are a lot to choose from. But you only want one, the one that's right for you. Is it this one? Well, no, because you want a 5 megapixel camera and this one's only three. Of course, there are still a lot that have 5 megapixel cameras. But maybe you also want a real keyboard. And because you're always getting lost, a GPS and a compass. And you're almost there. Which do you choose? How about the one with the most memory? <coughs> Until Droid Thing came along, searching for an Android device or Droid Thing like this was basically impossible. Now, Droid Thing allows you to search for Droid Things based on the parameters that are important to you. You start by selecting them on the Droid Thing homepage. The most popular ones are displayed initially but you can display all of them in alphabetical order if you can't find what you're looking for in the default display. You can also drag them around if you want parameters to display in a particular order in the next step. Once you've selected and arranged your parameters the way you want them, click on Get Started. Now you can actually set your parameters to what you want and see how your settings affect the number of droid things that meet them along the bottom of the screen. Some parameters turn on or off. While others adjust continuously. Of course, you don't have to winnow your choices down to just one. At any point, you can compare the droid things that match your settings by looking at the actual values of their parameters side by side. You can change units, go back and adjust your parameters, and compare the droid thing's physical sizes to each other. You can even compare them to common objects, like a soda can or a pack of playing cards. By clicking on a phone's thumbnail, you can view its details in isolation and see other photos of it. You can also find retailers and wireless carriers that offer it. So that's Droid Thing in a nutshell. Have fun!